What is going on guys today? I'm back with another destiny 2 video and in today's video uh, We're gonna be going over the new auto rifle the prosecutor that you get from getting seven wins in the trials of the nine This week or maybe from a clan engram But if you do get it from a clan engram as a reward if somebody in your clan goes uh, flawless and gets a clan engram For everybody in a clan it will drop at five power unfortunately But let's uh, let's look at the stack roll or the stat roll here So first it has precision this weapons recoil pattern is more predictable and uh, vertical so it goes up to the right a little or it goes up to the uh, up and to the right a little bit first we're gonna look at the barrels here or the uh, the rifling the barrel whatever I like the uh, polygonal rifling this uh, just increases the st stability the best here are the other ones here you lose some stability you get some range and handling and um, you lose some handling here so I like this one best then it has a uh, slide ways I really don't like this at all sliding partially reloads this weapons magazine and temporarily boost handling and stability I'd rather run tap the trigger grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on initial trigger pull so as soon as you ooh, sorry so as soon as you uh, start shooting um, you get a little bit more stability and just a little bit more um, better accuracy better aim assist and then finally you have a hip fire grip this um, this grip increases the accuracy and stability when firing uh, from the hip or so when you're not aiming down sights um, there's not much recoil so that's gonna do it for the uh, perks uh, we're gonna go over to some gameplay now all right guys on to the gameplay today so there is going to be some gameplay here of just me uh, playing some pvp actually a competitive match with my friends but regardless we're going to be talking about the weapon here this thing melts please 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 i would never steer you guys in the wrong direction if you guys do get the chance to get this weapon out of the clan engram or if you get seven wins please pick this weapon up besides the scout fuck the scout fuck the pulse get the auto rifle that's what everybody's been using all the streamers have been using it as well please i'm promising i will never steer you guys in the wrong direction pick this thing up um it it works wonders in pvp <laughs> let me tell you i've been having a lot of fun using it this weekend um I, this has really been it i've been using this for everything all my pvp gameplay even pve wise i'm using this i use it in the nightfall and actually in the raid um it probably wasn't my best bet for the raid but it was working well you know what i mean i was having fun it's a really really good gun like i was saying i really like the uh the sights as well the sights is really good on this gun um now the only thing that i feel bad about this gun is uh or not feel bad but the only thing that's not great about this gun is the um the range is like good medium long range but like long range auto rifles it falls off and at times i feel the recoil kicking up in the air to the right a little bit it's sort of hard to control um as you guys can see in the gameplay my the long range whoo, i gotta work on it my um my aim is sort of terrible but i'm working on it. i'm getting better but really just um pvp wise this week i've been rocking the mighty multi tool which if you guys want to learn a little bit more about that or hear my review on that i will link that down below and i've been using this um i never really pick up power ammo because whenever i pick up power ammo i seem like i just i force myself to use power ammo too much and i put myself in bad situations and i just feel like it's better if i just st stray away from it um especially if you guys run with the same four people usually like we do me brendan rage and uh, octopus we usually always let rage pick up the power ammo so that's a little tip there by the way if you guys are trying to go follow us this week but regardless like i was saying um the, the damage drop off is not really that bad usually i get like 21 crit and if they're real far away i'll get like 18 so the damage drop off is is nah, it's all right but long range encounters or especially if i've if i'm in a good position shooting down on enemies i like using my mita this week in trials but i mean overall this thing it melts it really does close range medium range um it, if you can hit your headshots if you get the aim down the uh, if you get used to the recoil especially like i said um medium the long ranges the recoil is a little hard to control but up close to that it's it melts it's automatic baby right to the head precision shots precision shots every time but um yeah i mean that's really gonna do it for today guys i just want to show you guys this weapon here check it out and um, please, like I said, I'm recommending this heavy. Please get this if you can. If you have the opportunity to, um, it does wonders. It's really, really good. It's your best option. But, I mean, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. I took yesterday off. So, it felt good not to make a video. But, regardless, I'm back. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said earlier, I really appreciate the support on all the recent videos. This for the, these first two weeks of the Destiny launch have been great. And um, I'm excited. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.